Hey, hey, I'm Shay Keister, and I'm your host for the Casual Cattle Conversations podcast, the beef producer's place to explore new management practices. Thanks for tuning in, and welcome to the community. Hey, hey, folks, it is Shay here, and Merry, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I've got a quick episode for you guys today just to listen to as you're maybe traveling from family Christmas, feeding cows, or preparing for the next holiday event. I know this is such a busy time of year, but I really wanted to show up this week for you anyways. So today we are going to be chatting about my top industry resources. These are fellow news sources and podcasts and websites that I turn to on a regular basis to really stay updated on all things ag and globally or locally as well. So we're just going to offer a few tidbits there just to show you my method of the madness when it comes to sorting through all the info. Now, before we dive into these resources, I do want to share that the wait list is open for the 2024 Rancher Mind program. So these doors will be opening for Rancher Minds in early January. So you can head to my website, casualcattleconversations.com to learn more about the Rancher Mind info. You're also welcome to email me, send me a message on Facebook, uh, whatever it may be to learn more about the program. But really what Rancher Minds is, is it is a community of progressive cattle producers from around the country who meet once a month to discuss different topics with experts. These are producer-driven conversations. They're not typical webinars. I have a hard time even comparing them to webinars other than the fact that we do meet on Zoom. And it's really an opportunity for you to engage with others who want to improve their own operations and maintain an open mindset, as well as experts to help them do so. And you also get to communicate with these people outside of the one-on-one calls too, if you'd like to. So to learn more about this opportunity and how to tap into this community and improve the profit, improve the profitability of your own operation, like I said, head to my website, casualcattleconversations.com, send me an email, um, message me on Facebook, however you want to get a hold of me, DM me on Instagram, and uh, we can chat from there. So with that, I do want to get started with today's show. So first and foremost, it is so, so, so important to stay up to date, up to <clears throat> first and foremost, I believe it is so, so, so important to stay up to date on beef industry news, local news, national news, global news. They are all so tied together. However, I do understand that the amount of information out there today is just overwhelming and it's a lot to sort through. I experience it myself and I just wanted to share my favorite industry resources that I use during different times of the week, during different times of the year to still consume information, feel like I'm in the know and staying up to date, even when I don't always have time, especially when I am not able to attend the conventions I'd like to attend and all that good stuff. And So with that, let's get started because I'm going to talk about podcasts, newsletters, print magazines, um, and a few other resources as well. But since you are listening to a podcast, I want to start with some other podcasts that I like to listen to. So I listen to a lot of different podcasts. Don't get me wrong. I listen to a lot of audiobooks as well. But if we are talking about current events in the beef industry or the ag industry in general, two of my favorite podcasts are one, Discover Ag. And this is a really great one because not only does it share timely and valuable information to ag producers, it also shares information to consumers. It really shares both sides of the story so that it is, so that it is valuable for both audiences, which I think is so cool. Um, I've worked with Natalie and Tara both personally, and uh, just because I've worked with them, that's not why I'm plugging the show. I really do believe it's just such a powerful platform and podcast that is really well put together with factual information and they really put their time and effort into it. It's fun and easy to listen to. Um, The next is the Ranch It Up radio show. So Ranch It Up is with Jeff and Beck and they do a great job tying together industry news, market reports. They'll have interviews in there as well that relate to ranch management. You really get a lot of information and even some interviews with different people packed into a short show. And it's, well, short. They're about 30 minutes. So they are just the perfect length, in my opinion. And Tigger and Beck, who I also have the pleasure of knowing personally, do a fabulous job keeping the cattle producer in mind when they put together this show and talking about relevant information. So those are a few of podcasts that I listen to, 
Um, like I said, there are so many other great ones. Ag News Daily has been a great one for me to turn to as well. But these are just two of the ones that I go to consistently. And what I really like about podcasts is that I can listen to podcasts when I'm in the tractor feeding, when I'm driving, um, and I have the ability to hit pause and resume if I'm in between running errands or driving to town or back from town. I even listen to them when I'm in the house, if I'm cooking, doing laundry, doing dishes, stuff like that. And uh, so those are just some of the times I listen to podcasts. Um, so yeah, that's a great opportunity to consume information when you're having really busy weeks and on the go or if you're like me and a lot of other people I know, you just have live a busy lifestyle. And so podcasts are great for that, as you know, because you're listening to a podcast. But I'm going to quit rambling about podcasts because, as you know, you can listen whenever. Discover Egg and the Ranch It Up radio show. Those are two of my favorite podcasts in the beef industry. Next, I want to talk about newsletters. So newsletters, I have my own newsletter. And the, my own newsletter, that it comes out weekly, and it actually ties in information from all of my favorite sources together. So with that, Drovers is... Drovers Daily is probably my favorite newsletter that I turn to. And just because there's a variety of information, it's quick to sort through as far as which stories I want to read and which ones I want to pass off. And so Drovers is a great one. The next one would be Magnetic Ag. And I really like this because while Drovers is more beef focused, Magnetic Ag is all, encompass all encompassing when it comes to ag. And so many of us are both farmers and ranchers or have ag businesses and ag, like the, our whole world is tied together. We know that our ag footprint is so vast that everything works together and is tied together. And so magnetic ag does a nice job of putting stories into little consumable formats. That's a quick read. And then if you want to learn more, it's really easy to dive deeper into the other stories where they found their information. Um, newsletters outside of ag that I really enjoy as far as world news. I like the pour over. The, the pour over, it puts things into a Christian perspective. Um, sometimes a good reminder when we're talking about touchy issues, just to have that perspective for those of you who are Christians out there, um, I'd recommend taking a look at it. It's free. And then 1440 is another newsletter that I get daily. I believe that one's daily. Um, I would say pour over and 1440 cover very similar topics each day. I feel like there's quite a bit of overlap in there, but they're both pretty good at sharing unbiased um, perspectives of what's going on in the world. Um, I choose to listen to global news because I think it's important, even though uh, it does seem pretty heavy some days, but those are some ones that I turn to. So those were newsletters now going on quickly. Print magazines. I have to say, I am not the generation of print magazines. I don't read a lot of print magazines, but in fact, I don't have any newsletter subscriptions, which maybe that's something I could work on because I know um, in our area, Farm and Ranch Guide, Cattle Business Weekly, Tri-State Livestock. I mean, there's just so many great publications out there that really pave the way for so many of us in the ag communication space right now. Um, I don't, those are great ones. Two of the magazines that I read through would be the ones from the Red Angus Association. So if you are a part of a breed association, um, I would recommend getting their print magazines, their newsletter materials, whatever it may be. And then I also listen or read, not listen, um, read the North Dakota Stockman Association's magazine, which would be my state cattlemen's, so, or the, the, state, <clears throat> the state cattlemen's group that I'm affiliated with. Um, I read their magazine because there's great information in there as well. And it's just part of being an active member. So the story behind that is whatever group you're a part of, wherever your values align, um, read those magazines um, or newsletters or whatever it may be. And those are ones that I kind of flip through. I try to make a point to flip through them right away when I get them or else they seem to get lost in the mail shuffle. But those are great ways to stay connected with your more local leadership and organization leadership. So next, there are always, always, always websites to turn to for information. So um, basically every resource I've shared above has a website or a social media account that I recommend you guys follow. You know, if you find one thing you like, uh, go follow them in other places as well. But websites, 
I like Morning Ag Clips and Beef Magazine. Both places share valuable information on what's going on in ag and beef, fresh stories, accurate stories, something to really appreciate. But anyways, like I said, I wanted this to be a quick episode. And so those are my top resources that I really turn to to sort through all the information that is out there in the world today. Because like I said, it can be overwhelming, as I'm sure you know, to try and sort through information constantly. And if you want that even narrowed down even more, I'd encourage you to sign up for my newsletter. Um, You can do that by going to my show notes. Um, The link is in there, or you can go to my website, casualcattleconversations.com. I send that out weekly. And like I said, I tie in all the information that I kind of read throughout the week and the week and the days prior to that to a consumable format for you guys kind of share my top stories. But otherwise, I'd encourage you to do some research yourself. If you like to read and have a little time to read in the mornings, or maybe it's over noon when you're eating lunch, um, skim through those newsletters. If you're driving a lot, listen to those podcasts. If you get print magazines, open them up. There are people who work very hard to put together some high quality print magazines and share some phenomenal stories. So Um, be sure to do that. And you can view them online most of the time now too. But with that, thank you for tuning in. It was a pleasure to have a whole nother year serving you with podcasts. I am stoked about what 2024 has in store. And with that, have a blessed rest of your holiday season. And I uh, hope to have you listening again in 2024. As always, if you have comments about topics, if there's people you want to hear from, topics you want to hear about, send me a message. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to chat. Happy ranching, folks. Hey, folks, are you looking for another revenue source for your operation, but get stressed out at the thought of taking on another task or business? If this is true, I'd encourage you to look at partnering with Land Trust. Land Trust is a business that connects landowners with recreationalists that want to hunt, fish, hike, camp, stargaze, take egg tours, or anything else you can dream of. They take care of the listing, promoting, and work you, quite frankly, don't have time for, but you still get to enjoy the extra revenue. The best part about this program, if you are a landowner, is that you still maintain 100% control of your land, who is on it, and when they are on it. Learn more by going to landtrust.com slash cattle convos. That link is in the show notes. And... That's a wrap on that one, folks. Thank you for tuning in today and joining in on the conversation. Be sure to take this a step further and take the advice you learned and implement it on your operation. If you want to have a conversation about it, head over to my social media and send me a DM by following at Cattle Convos and connecting with me there. Have a great day.